the agenda of development became very important in the early 70s among the women. In my own constituency, what was so significant was that the leader who was there was not meeting the needs of the people. And I got interested to take over from this man who was not delivering to the women, to the families what they had sent him to do in parliament. I was uh, already on the grassroots with the women and with, with the men. I had to fight, I had to make up my mind to go into uh, competitive politics with the men. But that was not to be as easy as it is said, because this man turned violent. And it was like fighting a real battle. We were chased around, we were stoned, my people were cut, my husband was left for dead. Because my opponent realizing that he was losing, now he just went to sad. Politics is difficult, but it was worse for a woman ousting a man. And in particular at that time, a man who was a very seasoned politician. The UN decided on the International Year of Women. And I was, at that time, had just been elected and made a, an assistant minister in the Ministry of the Social Services, Housing and Social Services. So it became my agenda and my responsibility to initiate the International Women's Year. We had decided when we left here that we are going to join into one delegation, the non-governmental group and the government delegation, so that when we come back, the women in the government are not going to be blamed for opposing what the ministers say or what the government decisions are. And we made a combined decision. It became a very powerful decision. The women decided that we are going to show government that we too can take very serious decisions. And the decision we are going to make is to say that we are going to hold the decade conference in Africa, and it will be in Kenya. The reason was that, um, you know, the Kenya government had not agreed to set up the Women's Bureau. And the Women's Bureau, uh, with it, was bringing in uh, what the UN had set for all the countries of the world, the Commission on Status of Women. I picked up the telephone and rang the head of state, Ms. Moy at that time, and told him the women delegation to Copenhagen have decided that uh, they bring all the women of the world to Nairobi. And of course he said no. He said yes, because we want to show them that we also can take decisions. The women's movement uh, made a lot of difference in the earlier days. Uh, today, uh, the women movement uh, has been diluted because now uh, the women issues are tackled at different levels. They are tackled at the education, they are tackled at the health, at the economic, uh, economic status of the woman. But um, to the extent that it was in the 80s and 70s, it, it's not uh, feasible that we can sustain that momentum. In the last parliament, I was able to draft five bills. In fact, I did five bills in one session. Oh, the secret ingredient in getting these bills through the house lay in my uh, ability to research very well around the subject matter. And then secondly, I mobilized uh, a team to work with me who also helped to mobilize the house to be on the floor whenever I brought the, uh, my uh, motion 
on the floor to debate. I reckon that um, the House accepted more easily the issues that brought everybody to, on board, like cotton development, both men and women are farmers, it was a, 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 an, an issue for the whole society. The women uh, in Kenya will have to continue to work together. In doing so, interest as many men as possible who are gender sensitive to appreciate the magnitude of problem the women go through when some of those issues are not brought on board. <laughs>